Ali Baba is on a roll. Just a couple of hours ago, they released this 3 billion flavor of their Quen 2.5 Omni model. We already have covered the 7 billion version, which was exceptional. The unique thing about this Omni 3 billion is that not only the size is reduced, but the performance is increased manifold just within the matter of a month. This model is an Omni model, which means that you can not only talk with this model in chat uh, format of video, audio, text and image. This model also supports real-time voice and video chat, plus you can have natural and robust speech generation. So what they are trying to do, they are trying to combine all the modalities in one model and we saw that it works and it works beautifully well as we saw in this 7 billion version model there. Now things are improving, size uh, sizes are dropping and you can see that now this is available in 3 billion parameter size. In this video we are going to install it locally and we will see how this model works. For that I want to thank Mast Compute for sponsoring this VM which is Ubuntu and my GPU card NVIDIA RTX 6000 with 48 GPU of VRAM. Let me start by creating a virtual environment and if you're also looking to rent a GPU on very very affordable prices you can find the link to their website in video's description. I'm also going to give you a discount coupon of 50% for range of GPUs. And now let's install all the prerequisites which are Torch, Torch Vision and the latest version of Transformers along with Accelerate and few other usual suspects. This is going to take a minute or so. Let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video meanwhile. These are um, iGenBot. iGenBot lets you effortlessly deploy a personalized knowledge bot across platforms like Discord, Slack and others. It is ideal for open source tech communities and startups that provide user support and I will drop the link to their website in video's description. And one final prerequisite which we need to install is this Gwen Omni Utilities. Make sure that you install it and then I am launching my Jupyter Notebook. And now let's download the model. Now before I download the model, you see that I am just specifying this D type and devices auto. What it means is that it is going to detect my GPU automatically, which I showed you earlier. And then it will use the numerical precision accordingly. And the model is being downloaded. There are only three shards of it. And the model is now downloaded. Let me show you how to do the inference. So if you check out this code, in this code, what we are doing, first we are specifying system prompt as what exactly model is supposed to do. It's sort of a virtual human. And then we are providing it a video as an input. And I will shortly show you the video too. We are also telling it that we want to use the audio in the video and we are going to do the output in two modalities, text and audio. So this is where we are getting that chat template on text. We are generating the audio frame by frame. This is the input which is being passed to model with some of the hyperparameters. And from there we are generating the both text and audio output. We are processing it or decoding it with tokenizer. We are printing the text here and we are outputting the audio file here in the output.wav format. This is the video which is being input. Let me play it. Hello, take a look at what I'm drawing. So this is some, you know, drawing which is being done on this device. Let's run this and see what sort of output we get. It is running at the moment. Let's check out the VRAM consumption. So it is consuming close to 12 gig of VRAM. It is not bad really. So it has produced a text response as you can see from that video which I just showed you. And also there is an audio and this is audio. So let me play this audio and we will also check out the response in the text. Hello, take a look at what I'm drawing. 
In this video, we see someone drawing an acoustic guitar on a tablet using a stylus pen. The person starts by sketching the outline of the guitar body and neck, then proceeds to add details such as strings and tuning pegs. Throughout the process, they adjust their grip on the stylus and occasionally zoom in or out for better precision. The final result is a well-drawn illustration of an acoustic guitar displayed on the tablet screen. It's pretty good, very, very good quality, really. Now let me try out with one of my own videos from my local system. And for that, I'm just going to give the path to this my local video. And this is a video which is a bit of an older video. The channel, this is the content on the so this one run is running in the VM remotely, so that is why the quality is a bit low. Maybe let me play it in the browser. Just give me a sec. I will open it in the browser and play now. Hello guys, welcome to the channel. This is just a sample video for Deep Life Cam. I hope that you are enjoying the content on the channel and learning it. Uh, please also. So this is the video which I made some time back. Let me take you back to the terminal and then let me run this. So it is running. Let's wait. It's already done very quick. And there you go. It has printed the response. It is just talking about me sitting in front of that microphone, seemingly recording or streaming content. Look at the content. Even the text is really of very, very high quality as usual. You see, addressing viewers as guys and welcoming them to the channel. And he mentioned that this is sample video for Deep Life Cam. It is correct to the health really. Even dots are fine. And the overall tone of video is friendly. Anyway, let's see uh, what sort of audio it has generated. So I'm going to again play it in my browser. The video features a man sitting in front of a microphone, seemingly recording or streaming content for his channel. He is wearing a black jacket and has long hair tied back. The setting appears to be an office or home workspace with a desk in the background that holds two computer monitors, a keyboard, a mouse and some other electronic devices. There is also a window with blinds partially open, allowing natural light into the room. Throughout the video, the man speaks directly to the camera, addressing viewers as guys and welcoming them to his channel. He mentions that this is a sample video for deep life. So you see, it is perfectly fine. It is very, very high quality. Size is just 3 billion. Okay, so that was interesting and the, you know, accent and uh, voice changed, which is uh, very surprising. Anyway, and uh, next up, let's check out the image modality. I'm just providing it a local image, which is an OCR for a multi-language uh, stuff where you see I'm giving it this paragraph, which contains some English, some uh, European languages like Spanish and others, some Hindi, some Arabic, and even some Russian and few other languages. So it contains multiple OCR stuff. Uh, and then I have just changed my um, text that please re read all the text in this image, output only the words you see, and then providing it the image. And then this is where I'm also generating the audio output. So let's run this. It is running at the moment. Let's check the VRAM consumption for it again. Maybe it might have changed by now. You never know. There you go. See, it is now consuming over 34 gig of VRAM. And the only uh, thing which I feel with this model is that it takes a bit of a time, um, sometimes even one to two minutes. But again, it's a multi-modality Omni model. So that is fine. Let's not be too much fussy there. And there you go. So it has given us this response. Let me, not this one, let me display the image here. So if you quickly compare, you can see that it, where it starts 
um, the response from here because rest is a system prompt if you compare it especially english looks good european language is good look this is arabic which is not bad really at all i'll display it again yep maybe bit of a mistake here if i check it out visually hindi also looks good to me and then i don't think so the last one it was able to do properly maybe some of it but not all of it okay so ocr is good but not top notch but i think you can easily do basic ocr especially with i believe with chinese and english as you can see here chinese and english looks pretty good to me this is a hindi script which looks quite good now it also has generated an audio file on the local system you see output.wav so wherever you are running it it should be it should have created that wav file there so let me play that wav file in the browser in the pursuit of happiness we often find ourselves striving to be our heroes life is about entertainer la algria and small things learning to verstat was ear haven and continue to var un equilibrio this journey isn't merely o camino para a felicitate but it also involves finding nacin de manzu as we are rejeruz it's important to neld h hate realizing that true haunt comes from within ultimately it's a journey of east and druduz embracing diversity in various forms and diverges to culture so you see um, i don't think so it can speak anything other than english or chinese but still just a 3 billion model and we have really really come a long way okay so th this is pretty good and finally i'm testing it out with this tabular uh, image where i'm asking it that which smaller model has best performance in the image and if you look at this one so this is a smaller model and these are the performances on different stuff so it's a bit of a vague question because there are multiple yardsticks but my main goal is to see if it can at least do a uh, table extraction on the basic level and it has come back and you can see that i believe the answer is quite right it is talking about deep sea car one in 7 billion parameter model starts with well which is nice and then it is uh talking about that if you want to know more more about this model or have other questions feel free to ask you can chat with it if you have a chat template anyway so let me also quickly play the audio for it this is the audio which it has generated well from the smaller model performance comparison DeepSeek R1 with 7B parameters has the best performance. It can generate 89.07 tokens per second. So if you're looking for a smaller model with good performance, DeepSeek R1 is a good choice. If you want to know more about these models or have other questions, so see there are few mistakes but I think still good enough I would I would give it really really high marks. So again you know I think exceptional job from Alibaba on this 3 billion version of Omni model if you are looking to uh, test out a 7 billion pa uh, parameter model we also installed it a month ago and you can see that it was also quite a blast so check it out if you are looking to do it in production I would suggest go with the 7 billion one but 3 billion is also not that bad and more importantly if you like the content please consider subscribing and liking the video and please also share it among your network as it helps a lot thank you for watching